That's not good. Here's the aftermath of the crash that you just saw. This is the main wing and it fared pretty decently. The servo right here popped out and I'm hoping it's not stripped. Uh, if everything works mechanically, I'm just gonna put some glue on that, pop it right back in. The wing had broken previously and you can see a carbon rod there as well as there that I'd put in to reinforce it and it cracked along the same line. Some more hot glue should fix that. The aileron on this side broke out it where the hinges and some glue and tape should fix that all in all the wings not all that bad moving along to the fuselage we have a bit more damage the ground was pretty soft and the entire front part of the motor itself was uh, submerged into the ground and there's some dirt in there that I need to clean out yet but the shaft did not bend so this should be completely reusable nothing broken there the body itself uh, didn't fare too well here <laughs> as you can see and will require some uh, new foam to be custom shaped and glued back in and I'll show you how I'm going to do that and this, this part there just as good as broken take that right off um, moving along towards the back here the uh, tail section cracked apart that's going to require some glue and some reinforcement uh, but luckily nothing broke off other than the actual rudder piece some tape should be able to fix that and that should be good to go so let's move along here and get some foam out and see what we can't do about fixing this I've used some hot glue to reattach the battery compartment as best I can to the existing piece of the body that's still attached I broke away some of the foam that was here that was mashed beyond repair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a razor knife and cut this square and flush so I'll have a nice 90 degree angle here to accept a new piece of foam. And the other side, this piece right here will uh, suffice and I will do the same along here, make it a straight line so it'll be easier to mate up a surface with a new fresh piece of foam that's going to take up uh, most of the space between the uh, fuselage and the very front uh, part of the engine housing. Well, as you can see from here, I've cleaned up the brakes, made nice flush surfaces where I can mate my new pieces of foam. I'm going to need a chunk to fit in here and the big uh, thing is making sure that the distance is approximately the same to what it was before because this rod here is what goes from the steering wheel to the rudder and that needs to be uh, the same as it was before in order to have the wheel and the rudder be aligned and not get into a problem there save myself from having to uh, go into all that trouble what I'm going to use to fill in this gap here is going to be regular old insulating foam sheet this is just a chunk of it that I have cut out, scraps, and uh, you can get this at any of the major home improvement stores. I'm going to measure this area, cut a block to fit, glue that in, do the other side, and then I'll probably come back uh, as the last part, uh, try to shape a piece in here for the, the windshield area. As you can see, I added this piece of foam. Basic, it's a U-shape. Got some space in there for the wires that go from the motor to the speed control and the control rod fits in there nicely. And I'm not worried about the shape on the exterior. It left a little bit more and this way when I'm all done I can go back and, and shape it to the proper uh, form of the plane. And the next piece to add is another U-shape piece of foam. And I've got some dowels in there uh, for extra stability. I'm gonna push those through, glue it, and then uh, the next part I'll add a little bit more space uh, with some more foam to add the nose and that will take care of uh, the main structure. This is 
pretty critical though because you don't want the like I said before the distance to be off otherwise your wheel and rudder are going to be uh, not properly lined up and you're going to have to adjust the length of this which is something I don't want to have to get into. I've got this piece assembled and I'm going to use a hot wire cutter to uh, trim some of it up before I go over it with a sanding block. making some progress just added the area here uh, where the windshield would be I have yet to glue this piece in to make it a nice tight and snug fit the reason why I didn't want to do this uh, is one whole block is because uh, what you can't see is this actually extends underneath this piece of cowling which has a bit of surface area for the glue to stick and give it a little more tooth to to hold on to there so I'm gonna cut this a little smaller squeeze it down in there get the hot glue in there and uh, then we'll be ready to do some shaping. That is, we'll wrap up the uh, foam for the front section and then we can move on to the tail. I'm going to paint the foam white before I do anything else. Now that I got it shaped properly and uh, it's glued up tight, I'm going to eventually add tape, wrap tape, kind of like how I did here when this cowling broke off from a previous rough landing. Um, but the paint won't stick well to the, the smooth surface of the tape. So I'm going to uh, paint this first and then I'll go ahead and tape it. And I can try putting some paint over, but it, it's, it'll flake off. Uh, and then after this is done, I'll move on to the tail section uh, and then fix the main wing. This is uh, acrylic flat white paint that can be found at uh, any major hobby store or uh, craft store. Nothing fancy. The cheapest stuff I could find. doesn't have to be pretty because we're putting tape over it alright well I finished my fixes to the plane I didn't uh, video putting the tail back on or gluing the wing because it was pretty uh, straightforward just glue with a little bit of tape but uh, as you can see there's all the uh, plane in all of its glory <laughs> Uh, there we go. I lost it for a minute there. Oh.